Ah. What's this? Two broken cars? Lately I've been waking up, working in the car, getting dirty and repeating pretty much. That's, that's been my life lately and that's because Melbourne is in lockdown and there really isn't much else to do. Also, it was sunny today. Have a look now. It's literally raining. I don't understand this, this weather. But, you know, if I step out here, I gotta, I gotta wear a mask, so I'm not gonna step out there. I spent the first couple hours this morning working on the MR2's broken axles. They're not, not really broken, it's just the fact that the boots have been split. I managed to get a hammer right into my thumb, so that hurt quite a bit. But we were pretty successful. We actually got the end of this axle off, one out of two, because we need to do that to the other one as well. But that's gonna allow me to change the boots, fill up the boots with grease. So you might be able to get this car running very soon, but I'm not too sure if the boots I bought actually fit. Not exactly sure what this video is going to be called because I'm just going to be doing a whole bunch of random stuff today. It's pretty crazy that I have a cherry blossom blooming in my street. I think that's awesome. If you didn't see the other video, I parked the chaser next to some cherry blossoms and that was just awesome. In that last bit of the time lapse, you saw me using a bunch of different tools to try to get that snap ring off at the end of the axle. So I did eventually remove it. The snap ring just goes here and you need proper snap ring pliers to actually remove it. Um, you can see, there it is, it's removed. However, it's warped because I don't have snap ring pliers. So we're gonna have to pick up a new snap ring. I didn't bother and wait for the tool because I don't have one. I just wanna get this all done and prepped so, so that I don't have to do it another day. This job as well is incredibly messy. My goodness, I've never ever dealt with so much dirty grease. It's all over my pants. This is why I'm wearing trackies. So I don't get my nice pants dirty. My goodness, it is, it is everywhere. Ah, it's disgusting. I'm doing a really bad job of filming, but if you come over here, it's probably not going to make too much sense because everything's just scattered everywhere. But it looks like we do have the right boots. If you count the folds in the boot as well, you can see that it all is corresponding to each side. So this is for that. Uh, three folds here, three folds are there. This is a little bit of a gefoodle. This boot is three, so... We have a three over here. That's that's the main thing. But looks like we have the right parts, which is perfecto. I just need to order a snap ring um, and probably clean out all the, the old dirty grease because you can see this is what old grease looks like. Grease that's been exposed to the air. You can see it's sort of like brownish. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up. But if you come over here and you look at some fresh grease, which hasn't ever been exposed to the atmosphere, because this boot was perfectly intact, the grease is much darker. So bad grease, we're gonna have to clean out a little bit and re-grease up. Um, obviously the same with everything. So yeah, I've also got some grease. Oh yeah, boy, some grease, baby. Oh yeah, oh gross, even the bag's wet. <laughs> Axle boots are somewhat cleaner than they were before. Well, axle boots, why did I say axle boots? Axle boots are dirty as hell and need to go in the bin. But yeah, axles are clean as hell. So yeah, looking pretty good. Obviously still some remaining grease in there, which is not an issue, we'll just top that up. We're gonna try reassemble uh, the boots on this side. I don't have the proper tool to get the clamps on, but. Uh, looks like it's one of these ones. The boot comes with these sort of like zip tie, metal zip tie things that you need like a special tool for in order to get like the proper tension on there. So I ordered like a different sort of tool, cost me like 50 bucks. Seems like it's the wrong tool, so we're gonna have to go pick up another one again. But of course shops aren't open, so next, next day things. It's the next day of the video and unfortunately we have a title for the video. As you can see, it's not clickbait at all. I actually ended up breaking the snap ring off of the axle boot. I'm not too sure if I said that, but I ended up breaking the snap ring and I have to order a new one. Now here's the, the problem. I can't get one from Toyota because they're just like, no, we don't have them anymore. So I have to find one um, and get it shipped from Japan. And Japan currently isn't shipping anything out to the world anywhere. So we won't be expecting that part for another five to six weeks. Unfortunately, so because of COVID, unfortunately, we're gonna have this MR2 sitting here for probably the next five to six weeks. That's 
that's a long time not driving this car. I did, however, get the axle boot completely installed with a new tool that I have, but here's one axle boot installed. So this axle is good to go. It's filled up with grease and everything. You can see we've got these like metal sort of like zip tie things on there as well. We use this sort of special tool that I bought from Repco. It's also covered in grease, great. But we have everything all ready to go. I'm probably gonna do this other boot and fill it up with grease and everything today because we can't put anything on this axle until we get that snap ring. Considering I've never done this before, I think it's a pretty good job. I've got the boots back on, I'm pretty happy about it. The boots are all on in this axle. This axle is ready to be installed. The only thing that I'm like a little bit concerned about is the diameter of this boot. It seems a little bit loose, but like it's it's not gonna come off, but well, it might, that's, that's why I'm saying this, but this metal clip thing, you know, is on really hard. So, you know, it shouldn't have any sort of issues staying on there. I'm just worried that it'll flick up grease, but I don't know. We're gonna just send it. Um, but yeah, look, the new boots are on. Looks sick, dude. It's amazing that this little C-clip is what's keeping the car off the road. Just this tiny little clip. But yeah, it is my fault, so yeah, whatever. We finally got the axle installed. Everything's looking pretty good. As you can see, is the axle. We haven't tightened everything up yet because we obviously need to do that when the uh, car's got weights on it. Yeah, but look at that fresh boots baby spin it so yeah won't be able to drive the mr2 anytime soon because we do have to wait six weeks to get that part from japan um, i'm gonna do a little bit of looking online to see if i can get that clip anytime sooner and of course if you guys know anything about getting a clip uh one of the c clips for the axles please let me know because i need one as soon as i possibly can because I want to drive the MR2 so damn bad. I haven't driven it in like three weeks, so it's going to be a long wait. Little update with the Chaser as well. We've just bought some new parts for this thing. I am so excited to start getting into the mods of this car. I'm so happy as well that it comes already with an intercooler. A pretty big one, it seems, as well. If you look at the bumper right over there. So it should still work. However, there is like a weird little like hissing sound. So I'm pretty sure there could be a little bit of a boost leak coming from one of these pipes. So we need to go ahead and check everything to make sure there's no boost leaks as we don't want any of that. We want all the powers. Um, if you can guess what the mod is also, give, give it a go. Try to figure out what I'm buying for this thing. Um, I also do, do need to do the maintenance stuff. I don't think we're gonna bother too much about the transmission because we're getting a manual transmission very shortly. Need to also start buying up the master cylinder, the slave cylinder, and all the little parts to get this thing manual swapped. It'll happen soon. Um, I've got another part coming as well. Super excited to get this thing making nice sounds and being a manual. Just need to get a new pedal as well. <laughs> uh, if you've made it to this far, thank you very much because I realized editing this video that it was pretty much a video on me replacing axle boots. It wasn't really anything interesting. But, yeah, thank you for getting this far. Um, it is a little bit unfortunate that we can't drive the MR2 anytime soon, unless you guys can figure out a way that I can get parts in the uh, state that Victoria is in. It's really weird looking at my freshly shaven face, my God. Before we go, just want to remind you all that we are going to be getting a V6 in Lachlan's Benki MR2. I know that hasn't been happening for a long time, and obviously because of you know, what's happening in the world. Um, we haven't got the wiring harness yet from Paul because of just shipping delays, I guess, and stuff like that. It's, it's all happening, but yeah, this, this COVID stuff has really cooked everything, but I'm super excited to get this engine in the MR2, in Lachlan's MR2. It's gonna look sick in there, yellow rocker covers. Um, it's pretty cool that we got the two V6s right here now yellow and red. Damn, it actually fits in there so good. Ah, oh, it's such a shame that we can't get this axle done today, but you know, it is what it is. Looking super nice and clean in there. I need to clean up where all the grease like, sort of like flung around. There's a look at my custom exhaust. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, unfortunately there's just not a whole bunch going on and I really do apologize for this sort of like, kind of meh video, I don't know. Yeah, it's just, it just sucks. It sucks. And I know a lot of other people out there are feeling it the same. So 
yeah, can't really leave the house, can't really do much, can't see mates. Anyway, thank you all for watching. If you want to see more videos, like, subscribe, catch you later. Thank you.